uh, you would know that I actually did a guide before, but I never uploaded it, I don't know why. So now, I'm updating it and recording it again, so without further ado, let's get into it. In this guide, I will actually teach you how to combo, edge guard, some kill confirms, best combos in terms of like uh, damage output, and maybe uh, one over here and there that might make your opponent rage quit. So, let's get right into it. All right, on it. He's just gonna nice. And now my really again, running away. The turtle, man. So this is where you gotta believe. Yeah, you really have to put the nails to your opponent right now because it's now or never. You know, nice. Eighty-seven percent on your last stop. Throwing out the turtle. Okay. Lots Come of on, Corio. Again. What's the move? Oh, that throws up move. smash. Still has time to shield and parry. And this time avoiding the forward air, but that time Meister very smart to just double jump oh. and shoot. Back air, not gonna hit, or not gonna take him out of the game just yet. Take Cross that back. I think he keeps him to confirm too off yeah. of it. He gets the, the metal blade into like a dash attack, another dash attack here. The two active, okay. Trying to challenge that up air, just laying back down on the ground. And he's just not finding any stage control, dude. Yeah. Okay. Have tilt, take that back. Takes the chair, man. No, this this is looking like a tree stop. Yeah, it's yeah, tree looking stop, like baby. a tree stop. All right, I'm over here in uh, Smash Ultimate, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I picked Wolf because he's like a midweight character, so I'm gonna be able to showcase like combos that generally work with like a lot of characters. So like, it's fine. This is this is fine, you know. So first thing you wanna know is Game on Watch is that he relies a lot on like uh, heavy combos and a lot of edge guarding slash ledge trapping. He is a character that if you don't know how to edge guard and if you don't have a good combo game, you will most likely do pretty poorly with him because like he relies a lot on like getting heavy damage most of the time, like I said. Alright, so I decided to go to small battlefield and I'll show you guys why later. But what I was saying is you can actually gimp a lot of characters with like really bad recoveries. I mean Wolf over here is ne not necessarily like a bad recovery character, but like it is pretty exploitable, and as you can see there, he died at 64%. Like, Game Watch is a character that you will need to learn how to edge guard and how to combo properly, and I'm here to tell you guys how to do so. So first of all, his move kit is pretty versatile. I mean, it's a very well-rounded kit. He's got very juggling, very good juggling tools like his upper over here. His nair is also good at just covering um, people who are trying to land. Like over here, you can do this and so, like combo. It also combos, so that's pretty good. He's got like backer, which is good for edge guarding. He's got a downer, which is also good for that, as you can see here. Let me finish it off with a backer. This CPU is smart. He actually like, side beat onto the stage. You'd be surprised at what CPUs can do in this game. So yeah, he's got forwarder as well, which can also be used for edge guarding, but I mostly use it just for comboing, honestly. As you can see, it led into a true 74% uh, combo. It's a really good move. It can also be safe on shield, depending on how you do it. Well, it's actually safe on shield, regardless of how you do it. Um, if you do it out of a short hop, I believe it's plus 3 or plus 4, and if you do it out of a full hop, it's plus 10. Alright, and uh, his special moves are, I mean, they are pretty good. You got Judge, which is a lock-based move. I mean, you can get very bad stuff from like a number 1 or like a number 9. Oh, there you go, there's the number 1, which deals damage to yourself. But if you get a 9, which as you can see, I cannot get right now, because my luck is really bad. I'm never going to go to Vegas with this luck, honestly. Uh, if you get a 9, you like just... Uh, yeah, there you go. Your opponent kind of just explodes, gets yeeted. Um, and uh, yeah, he's also got uh, Oil Panic, which uh, depending on the projectile that you absorb, it'll be like really strong or really weak. But the good thing about this move is that, I mean, even if it doesn't kill with the energy projectiles that you absorb, you still get a pretty, pretty uh, good anti-projectile tool. It also reflects projectiles that are not energy-based. I don't know why they made that a change from Smash 4 to Ultimate, but... It's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> and as you can see here, Wolf, I mean, Wolf Laser will definitely kill him at zero near the ledge. <laughs> It'll probably kill him at like 20 center stage or like 30, something like that. It kills like really early, probably 10 even with Rage. Uh, so yeah, those are his special moves. And then, like I said, his aerials, I already explained them. Uh, his tilts are really good, but the problem with them is that they are really laggy if you miss them. So like his chair is really good at killing. It actually kills Wolf like super early. Alright, so as you can see, I got Wolf over here at 110. You just chair him and he dies. You see, like, 110 is not that bad, actually. It's pretty early with, like, this is without rage as well. So you come over here, you run into a chair. I mean, 
well, that was CPU DI, but like still kills like that early, you know. And then down tilt is also really good. It's a really good kill move, but this one is actually it has a lot more lag than side tilt. Like the chair is laggy, but down tilt is even laggier. So you gotta be careful with how you use it. You definitely don't want to miss this move. You want to use it out of like just kill confirms if you can, or like maybe trying to do something else. With that said, let's get started into some combos, which is what I believe you guys are here for. So let's get right into it. All right, so for the first combo, we're gonna start off with the basics. Down throw neutral air is gonna get you a free 20%. You can even combo it into an upper for 34%. This is a really basic combo. It's pretty much just guaranteed. Your opponent cannot do anything about it. Now, note that they can SDI the nair. Most of the times if they SDI nair, they will most likely just frame trap themselves. So you don't have to worry about that. Just try to follow their DI. Uh, one thing to note is that the way Game & Watch nair works is that you can actually control where your opponent is gonna be launched after the move and that is if you move forward your opponent will end up backwards and if you move backwards while doing the nair your opponent will end up forwards so you can actually mix it you can be like forward you can actually be like move forward and backwards at the same time as you can see your opponent has like no idea of like where you're gonna be going at it's like something i do pretty often it's pretty tricky to get the hang off sometimes but like once you get it uh, it'll be a lot easier to just combo. We'll go ahead and get into a pretty cool combo that you guys pretty much have seen. If you're a Game & Watch main, you pretty much love this combo, and if you don't, then you have no feelings. It is down throw 9, dude. Now, this combo works with a very low percent, and it also works um, only at, like, certain ranges. Probably what I would say is, like, 15% to, like, 30%, maybe 15 to 45% even. But any longer than that, I think it's pretty hard to connect. So it's a pretty situational combo, pretty not so optimal if you want to rack up damage, especially. So just uh, you gotta be careful with that. All right, then another combo we got is um, we're gonna be getting into a little bit more of like complicated stuff. I know this one is super complicated. We got the old down smash forward smash that is extremely complicated. Like, I know people will call you brain dead for this combo, but trust me, it is extremely complicated. Inputting two smash attacks at the same time is the hardest thing in the world. So, yeah, dude, this is a kill confirm. It kills pretty early, especially if you get the sweet spot of the forward smash. If you don't get the sweet spot of the, for of the forward smash, it'll kill extremely late. So, uh, just make sure that it, um, it lands with a sweet spot on the forward smash. Another combo that is also pretty simple, especially if you're spamming the move because it's pretty spammable, is uh, up smash. You can up smash into an air. I couldn't get it there because I'm stupid. You can get uh, up smash into an air over here. If you're on a platform, you can extend it a bit more. I know the training mode said it's not true, but it is a true combo. Like right here, as you can see. And now it said it's true. There you go, you see. It's uh, up smash is a combo starter. This combo is very situational as well. It only works at like 0 to 10%, maybe. Like I can put the CPU at like 15, I think it won't work. It might actually work because it's wolf. Yeah, it'll work. There you go. It's actually like a lot easier to combo with because like it's got a little more hit stun because of the percentage. So that's another combo. And now uh, another easy combo is I actually didn't talk about this move while I was going through the special moves. But up B out of shield will combo into uh, a nair. It'll combo into an up air as well. At 0% it won't combo into up air though. So like be careful with that. Uh, I can sort of combo into back air. That wasn't necessarily a true combo. But like, yeah, this is this is really good. It's pretty much what you will be using when you're shielding moves. Is just do this. Shield, up B. You see? Uh, at low percents, you want to go for up B neutral air. For sure. It's pretty much the combo you want to go for. But after that, you really just want to go for like um, up B nair. Say they got like maybe starting like maybe 35%. Not even that late. Just like 35% because if you try to go for up B neutral air, yeah, your opponent might get hit by it, but like most of the times they will just fall out of the air. So just go for up B uh, up air. And there you go, dude. There you go. So those are the basic combos. Now we're actually going to get started into a little bit more of like uh, more complicated combos and pretty maybe like kill confirms as well while we're at it. So a nice combo you can get is you can get double forwarder into nair into an upper into an up beam. that is 67 percent. the way you want to do this combo is actually the timing is a little bit strict and it's a little complicated it definitely doesn't come on 999 percent so the way you want to do this combo is you want a double forwarder with like with a double jump first uh forwarder is with a double jump 
And you can actually get uh, instead of an up B, you can also get a double upper if you want to. But the way it is again is double jump forward air, and as you're landing, do another forward air into an air. So we want to do this is this. And depending on the DI, you can get another air, you can get an upper, you can get an up B. You can get pretty creative after the uh, the after the air. So like just try to try to read where your opponent is going at after the air, and you should be able to get it. All right, another combo, which is also like uh, more of a lock-based combo, and no, it's not nine. Um, it's more so lock, depending on like if your move actually works or not. <laughs> it's uh, bomb into up tilt. So the way you do this is you do this. You see that? You do that, and then you try to combo an up tilt after this. You do this. Now I've done this combo several times in tournament. It's pretty reliable but the reason why it's like log based at the same time is because like sometimes up till decides to like not work like at all like see i'm getting pretty lucky over here because like the cpu like doesn't di or anything but after the first hit sometimes your opponents fall out of the move so you gotta be careful with that you gotta be careful with like uh up till this it even works you see at like 14 percent. it's pretty good dude it's pretty pretty good so we get the the bomb Oh, well, that was a nice combo as well. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it, it works, dude. It works. Like, we also got uh, more bomb combos, actually. If you get a bomb on a platform, you can actually do that. You can do a bomb into double upper. Uh, this combo is, like, really good. I love doing it because it's a great mix-up on platforms. Like, if your opponent is waiting for, like, maybe for you to grab him over here, you can just jump. Do this. Do that. If they spot dodge, the bomb will hit them. Like, they spot dodge here. Boom. You see? Like, it hits them. It's like... They spot dodge here, get a bomb, and there you go, dude, 41% easy peasy. Alright, then for the next combo, this is a combo I do, I, we're gonna go back into like the basics for a little bit. It's, um, you wanna go ahead and say around like 70-ish percent, you see you can still combo down throw in there at like high percentages, but the problem is it becomes a lot trickier because of like how far away your opponents land. Uh, th that's, that, what I'm doing right here, the down throw in there is actually not true at 75%, it's probably true on Wolf. At like at max it's true on like 50% as you can see here it's like not really that reliable anymore at those percents so when you get your opponent to this type of percent what you want to do instead is you want to do up throw up B up throw up B is an easy 21% because for some forsaken reason uh, up throw just deals 15% on its own <laughs> I don't know why it deals 15 well 14.1 I'm sorry but with fresh moves it's 15% um, and I'll deal 15 and then you just combo into an up B for an extra uh, 7% and it'll net you a very nice 21% <laughs> free. This combo works at really huge margins. Like I can put wolf at like 90% and I think it'll still work. Yeah, there you go. You see like it's a, it's a combo that works really often. I don't know why it works as well with like the eye. Your opponent has no way of escaping this pretty much. Uh, it's just the angle at which the up throw sends is pretty nasty, like, it's not that DI-able, so, like, this is good, you know? You see, 95% and it still works. It's a combo that works at 75% and it works all the way until, like, 95. Let's see if it works at 100, I don't think so, but... Okay, maybe with, like, strict timing it might work, but I don't... Yeah, no, I don't think so. Either way, it's a really nice combo to keep in mind, so... Definitely try to use it when you get your opponents at high percent. I want to talk about a setup that works really well. It's a jab lock setup. So, you know how Oz Game & Watch mains tend to like have an addiction to landing with downer, you know? Sometimes this will happen. If that animation happens, that you didn't connect the sweet spot, but you connected that little sour spot right there, here's a cute little setup you can do. Say you're landing with downer. Oh, Jesus. Some sorry wolf. <laughs> there we go. So, you like... Or landing with downer. Ooh, got the sour spot. There you go. Jab lock. Another one. There you go, dude. Pretty easy peasy. Now, you could attack on the platform, but I'm going to show you a better one. And this also requires your opponent not attacking. It's a mix up, like I said. So you're chilling. Look at that. Easy peasy. Double jab lock right there. <laughs> so, what you want to do is slowly go through this one. It's like this. You already got it here. What you basically want to do is another jab. Then you want to fade back and F smash. The reason why you want to like dash back like pick pivot f smash like this is because if you only do it this way if you don't fade back sometimes that'll happen you see that's a uh, sour spot 
You don't want to get Sour Spot with this combo because it, as you can see, it didn't send Wolf anywhere. If you fade back to get the Sweet Spot off it, it actually becomes a lot better because it kills. You see this? It's a very strict timing. It's a really strict timing to do that Pivot F Smash because it's also got to be like... It's a really strict timing because it has... If you miss it by like just a few frames, your opponent has enough time to get back up from like the get up. So you got to be really fast with it. And all right, now that's it for like the combos. We're going to go ahead and start with like a really, really good thing that you want to have with Game & Watch. And that is ledge trapping. How does Game & Watch ledge trap? So he's got a lot of ways. I think Game & Watch, like despite what people say, is a pretty creative character because he can do a lot of different things to go ahead and ledge trap. You can get ledge trap by this move. You can get ledge trap by this move. You can get ledge trap by this. You can get ledge trap by this. You can get less trapped by this, as you can see here. Well, I freaking missed, but like, it's fine. Like, Game & Watch has a lot of moves to let's trap you with, and you don't want to be there. You can catch a normal get-up and be like, boom, get out of here, you see? So, like, the way you want to do this is, the main thing you want to do for let's trapping, though, and is the reason why people get mad at this character, is because, like, you can just do this. <laughs> it's a very easy... Uh, set up and as you can see it even kill confirms at later percents so like it's, it's a good one that was not true but it's still caught his recovery so it's still a good thing to use um now the thing about this though is that it might look brain dead but it actually does require a little bit of thinking so the thing about it is that you actually want to use chef but like you don't just want to spam it because like see if you just mash the b button like this the food is just going like in that angle, you know. The thing about Chef in this game is that you can actually angle it. As you can see, I'm holding the control stick back so that it goes up. I can hold it forward so that it goes all the way there. I can hold it a little bit up so that it can also shark platforms over here. You see? It sharks platforms. That's really good, actually. Um, you can also hold it down so that it sends a little bit more like over here. You can basically just go ahead and do this. You see, you can mix up your angles a lot. So that's really good. You want to like try to angle this at a position where like if you're doing it here it'll cover that you see and it'll cover people grabbing the ledge so, like at two frames and you get the recovery out of the confirm now the way you want to do this is you also don't just want to like stand over here at the ledge and um you don't want to stand over here at the ledge and use the move because like if you if you do this this is a cpu so it has no brain but a normal player would actually just get up attack you here because you're spamming a move while they are invincible. So like you don't want to do that. What you want to do instead is you want to go ahead and try to stay at roll distance so that that way uh, it can catch people whether they roll, attack or jump. You can still get them, you know. Like this right here is perfect spacing on Chef. Now the other thing you want to do as well is that you want to be careful with the roll distances of every character because uh, every character's roll getup is actually like either bigger or um, either a little bit uh, longer or a little bit shorter than other characters. Like for example, Wii Fit Trainer has one of the longest uh, roll getups in the game. So for that one, maybe you get you get a little bit more behind, like say right about here, stuff like that. You know, like you you want to like definitely take all of that in mind. Now, for edge guarding, um, you are mainly going to be using back air, but you're also wanna, you also want to go ahead and use like uh, down air and forward air every now and then, you know. I don't recommend using forward air that much, mainly because of how long it takes. It literally takes half a second for it to explode, so it's a pretty long um, time before it actually hits. But the way you can use forward air is that way. You can just drop it over here. Like this, like villagers bowling ball, basically. Another way you can do it is, uh, bomb for some reason hits ledge. Well, I, I know why. It's basically this snake C4, so it makes sense that it hits, um, ledge. When you, you, so you can do it over here on the ground. You see, you can do this, and I gotta showcase it right now because of the CPU. But you can do this, and it'll eventually catch them. You know, it catches their, uh, their invincibility. I can actually put the the CPU at like control maybe. There you go. See this? You see that? It hits ledge. So, it's a really, really easy technique to go ahead and just ledge trap like that. You just do this, and it'll work. Uh, then the other one is catching normal get up with down smash. That is reaction based. You have to like time your uh, 
you have to time your down smash so that it can go ahead and catch their neutral getup. Uh, this also catches jump getup if you try to guess it sometimes. As you can see here, it does that. Well, that was sour spot, so definitely try to space your down smash so that if they normal get up, it catches them. But so that if they get up attack, like over here, a normal character's get up attack wouldn't hit me. But like say like maybe Bowser's get up attack would get me because it's a lot like longer. Like you also have to take all of that into account. Um, so like yeah, dude, you do this, sweet spot. You see, pretty pretty good. But again, it's reaction based, and it also depends on like how long the characters, your opponent's get up attack is. Cause like like I said, Bowser has a really long get up attack, but maybe Wolf over here doesn't. So like you wanna you wanna be careful with all of that, you know. Now the problem about spacing it this way is that it does catch normal get up, but it doesn't catch jump, and that's the problem. But if you do it like right about here and they jump, boom, they're dead, you know. <laughs> And lastly, uh, I should explain something real quick about, uh, this is something I wanted to talk about a long time ago, because I actually, like, when I stream, I have a lot of people just telling me, like, hey, Meister, why do I bucket, like, Fox's lasers, and they don't kill, but then I bucket, like, Samus's charge shot, and it kills, right? I, I actually just talked about this while I was explaining down B, but the way I think, or the way I know, down B works with Game I Watch. You, you guys gotta bear with me because this is like we're gonna get into some math. I know you guys might be in like summer vacation or something, but so I'm sorry to bring up math to you. But the way Game I Watch's bucket works is I believe in this game it's a 1.6 multiplier for every projectile that it absorbs. So for example, like over here, if my dude Wolf throws this laser at me, laser usually does 9.6 damage, right? So if you go ahead and multiply. 9.6 times 1.6 it's 15.36 but you do that uh three times and it should deal 46 damage i believe if it's not that then it's 1.8 oh yeah look at that 46.3 there you go well i'm not bad at math as you can see <laughs> so that's the that's the thing right there it depends on the projectile that you absorb but Here's the thing, right? Like, for example, you might be saying, like, oh, I just absorbed Palutena's Explosive Flame, right? And you'll be like, Meister, that's, like, really powerful. See, the thing about those kind of moves is that you're not bucketing the explosion. You're bucketing a multi-hit move. And multi-hits do not deal that much damage because it doesn't take knockback into consideration. It takes damage into consideration, you know? So, if, for example, take Bowser over here, whose fire breath deals, like, 50%. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you that if you bucket Bowser's neutral beam, it actually doesn't do anything because, look at this, every hit of fire bread deals like 1 point something, I think. Yeah, look, it dealt 2.4, I believe. So, like, you multiply 2.4, I'm not good at math, so I'm using a calculator, 2.4 times 1.6, that's 3.84, but you do that 3 times, like I said, or like you add it up. It should deal 11%. It dealt 19, so I'm really bad at math, as you can see. I think it's actually like a 1.8 multiplier, but I'm not sure about it. Uh, it might also be the fact that like Bowser's fire bread deals a little more damage than the multi-hits or something. I don't know. But as you can see, it deals very little damage. Like, you're not really, you're not really going to be killing with those type of buckets. Say you're going to probably be killing at like 150-ish. And that's if you get lucky. Uh, as you can see here. Like, that barely killed. If the guy had the eye, I think it wouldn't have killed. So, you gotta take all of that into consideration with Bucket. Just be like, make sure to check which projectiles you are absorbing, how much damage the projectiles are dealing. Because, like, for example, Fox's lasers, I believe they deal, like, one damage, two damage, something like that. So, they're, it's not gonna be a strong Bucket. But, like, Falco's laser deals, like, five damage. So, even though it's not a strong Bucket, it's also not a weak Bucket. It's, like, a medium power Bucket. So, it's, like, it might be, like, 35%, kind of. So just, you just gotta be, like, careful with that type of stuff, you know? But, uh, yeah. Last confirm I want to talk about that I actually forgot about is a pretty nice combo. I was talking about how to use down tilt and side tilt without getting uh, punished. The way you want to do it is the most reliable way, in my opinion, to do it is by doing a drag down there into a... Um, down tilt the way you drag down is you don't just do the neutral air like that like you don't just go like this you don't just go like like that because it'll launch your opponent is you want to like neutral air and then fast fall neutral air fast fall down tilt 
Or just get like a couple of hits of the neutraler, don't get the entire move, and there you go, you see? Like one hit of neutraler, there you go. There's like different ways to do a drag down. There you go, you see? And that's all true, that's a true combo. Ooh. Pivot down tool, let's get it. There you go. There you go, dude. You see? Easy peasy. And you can do the same thing with chair. It's a true combo, so don't worry about it. You can also do the same thing with optical, but like don't don't do it. You can actually do this combo for like uh comboing if you want to, but this one is not really that reliable on other characters. Because they can just jump out of the neutral air uh after and they won't get hit by the up tilt or they can just shield so don't uh, like try to do it if you want to but most of the times it won't do anything so that this is the only way in which you want to go ahead and do side tilt and down tilt is just by drag down there now side tilt is a little bit funnier though because you can actually go ahead and like just um you actually just go ahead and like um what i do is usually i try to like read a roll and then just be like this you see just run into a side tilt i do the sliding side tilt though i will say that's by like pivoting it and then pivoting it back there you go so that's the ways you want to use like the tilts with game and watch that way you don't get as punished and hopefully you will not get punished because damn these moves have a lot of like like this one right here like not 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 down smash like come on <laughs> but down uh down tilt and side tilt have a lot of end like so be careful with that and all right guys that's gonna be it for the game i want you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i might update this like in a long time i think maybe when offline tournaments start coming back slowly i might update it but in the meantime i don't think so i hope this cleared any doubts and if you guys think i missed anything that you guys want me to talk about please let me know so that in the update i can add it thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you later don't forget to subscribe comment and like i would appreciate it a ton and don't forget to watch me on my twitch twitch.tv slash meistergnw Take care and bye-bye.